to perform a broken wand ceremony on behalf of Mark Edward, Terry Tyson. From shaman to the conjurers on a stage, from weasoned healers in a forgotten stone age, human communities to the youngster receiving their first set of plastic natural props. The magician's wand has remained as the symbol and the tool of the magician. It signifies their power and it focuses their magical energy. The wand, when held aloft, symbolizes as above, so below. When passed over an empty vessel, it commands it to be filled. When pointed, it directs magic to affect a person, place, or object. When seen by others, it identifies its owner as the wielder of mysterious abilities. The wand may appear to be made of highly polished wood, whether branch from some unknown species of tree, made glossy from the magician's hand, a rare, a rare crystal adorned with cryptic markings, a really length of bone derived from some unknown beast. The modern conjurer often holds a black rod, white on its tips, but for a magician such as Mark, it is proper that it has a configuration that infuses many worlds, that of the mysterious and that of the practical. It is made of wood, copper, and crystal. Mark embraced the mystical and the real world. Most magicians would tell you that when a wand is broken, his magic is dispelled, but I believe that even pieces of a wand retain some magic still, perhaps only in our memory, in our imagination. So it is that we will break the wand to relieve, to release some of it to the universe, but also for all of us to hold on to. continue to symbolize its legendary influence upon all of us. May we carry his magic in our hearts, memories, and future conjuring from now until we pass our magic to others. As we join him in the collective consciousness of the cosmos, may his energy remain perhaps altered, but also always present. To a magicae un vivant in materium, may your magic live forever. Abracadabra, I create as I speak. Oh.